Hello everyone, it's Miss Shanina from Bill Reese Teach. I'm so excited to talk to you today about the one-to-one -one coaching session. Listen, we're halfway through our first quarter, ending it, and with the in-person and virtual learning experience, it has been an adjustment. At times, it's been overwhelming. Teachers are stressed out, parents are stressed out, and so are our students. And so this is a time for me to reach out and try to find ways that I can help you build, reach, and teach your students. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the one-to-one -one sessions and how I can support you as a teacher in the classroom. So I'm excited. Let's get started. First thing first, let's talk a little bit about Be A Bow Educator. In my story with Bill Reese Teach, I'm big on being a bow educator. What does that mean? We're in the middle of a crisis right now. When you look up the word bold, it means to attempt to solve a crisis. Every teacher right now is showing up and they're being bold. We're in the middle of a public health pandemic, okay? And people are just pulling together and pulling all their resources together to teach in spite of. So I just love to see teachers come together, school districts come together, teachers and parents working together to make sure our students are getting what they need. So that's what a bold educator is. It's showing up in the middle of a crisis and making sure that your students are getting what they need. So we're going to talk a little bit about that on the one-to-one -on -one coaching sessions and why that is so important. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Number one, I am a mother, a wife, and a sister to many. I have a quote that I love to say, and it says, the best way to predict your future is to create it. So many times people are telling us what to do, how we should do it, that we sometimes are not in the game to create our own purpose. And when you're in that classroom, yes, you have curriculum. Yes, you have guidelines. Yes, you have standards. But you still get to be you. And so 15 years in education, I have worked as a dean and an education consultant in classroom management, classroom engagement, really working with teachers how to build community and how to stay connected with their teachers, as teachers with their parents and students. And the people that have influenced me the most in my life has been my mother and my faith in God. And so when we get on these one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, I want to know your story. I think stories connect us. And so that's why I always tell people my story because I think that will open up the doors for how we build our classrooms and communities together. So I want to start with this quote. When I let go of what, I'm, what I am, I become what I might be. Huh. So sometimes we think we're a certain person or we're supposed to be a certain thing, but we may be missing the mark on what we're actually supposed to be. And so in this coaching session, it's a powerful tool because we're going to open up and talk a little bit about yourself as a person, what you value, what's important to you, what's your passion, and how we can use that and integrate it in the classroom to open up the doors to help your students interact and have high-level engagement while you're teaching. So what can you expect in this session? It's coaching. So we're going to reflect. We're going to have some engagement, which is a lot of conversation and dialogue. We're going to do some interactions and role play and give some scenarios that we can work through. And you're going to leave the session with a plan and support. So I will be there to support you thereafter through email so that we can continue to help you on your journey to be the best teacher we know and I know you are. So in our session, this is just a sneak preview of what you can expect. Teach bold, respond bold, live bold. And I love it because it's about giving strategies that you can meet the needs of yourself first and then your students. So this just a couple strategies to think about as you come into the coaching session. Number one, we're going to talk about being prepared. How are you preparing those lessons? Number two, we're going to talk about CARE, an acronym for show concern and affirm real emotions. We know this is stressful and hard, not just on you, but our students. And sometimes you see students shutting down in front of you on the screen or in class. There's a disconnect with their learning. We can show that we care, and I'm going to give you some strategies on how to do that. Some of the stuff you may be doing, but there's activities and there's other rituals that we can do in the classroom to help build strong classroom community. Which starts with the third thing, which is start with strong classroom management. How are you managing this virtual learning with Zoom or whatever platform you're using? 
How are you utilizing that? How is that helping you? Number four, we're going to talk about building community. How do we transition from you running the classroom and building community to training your students how to run effective community meetings in ways that they're bonding and communicating together? And you're looking as a teacher like, wow, to the point where they're actually engaging and taking the content and telling each other, that peer-to-peer -peer sharing. That's when you know teaching is happening at its finest in the classroom. Number four. Five, we're going to talk about is classroom engagement. Games, different scenarios. Are you using music? What kind of collaboration are you using? Movement? What other things that you can create through technology? Are some of the lessons student led? So we're going to go through some fun, engaging activities. And yes, you can do engagement online. I know it's been a transition and trying to how do you fit that in there, particularly depending on your grade level. But there are things that you can do to engage your class to help sure to ensure that the students are working together and learning. Finally, we're going to talk about take a risk. Allowing your students to give you feedback as a part of that exit ticket is so critical because when you go to the next lesson, you can get their feedback in order for you to prepare and to be at the next level of engagement. So I'm excited. I just kind of gave you an overview of the six things that we would cover. Again, you will walk away with an actual plan and strategies that you can use the very next day. So I'm so excited. I hope you join me on this journey. I hope this gives you clarity of what the coaching sessions are. If you would like to, invest in yourself. And I assure you, investing in yourself is the best thing for you to do. Particularly if you're overwhelmed and stressed out and need that support. I'm here to support you. So you can go to my website, BillReachTeach.com. You can also follow me on Instagram. And go ahead and book your session. Um, book your session around your time and your schedule. Schedule. You will um, once you book, you will be sent out a Zoom link, and from there we'll have a one-on-one -on -one session and just kind of talk and go through some things that we, that I covered on this video, and we'll come up with a plan that will support you as a teacher. Well, I want to thank you so much for what you're doing in that classroom. Um, from the bottom of my, my heart and your students' hearts, I know you here, but I appreciate you as teachers. This is not an easy season for you all, but I'm here, and I hope to hear from you soon.